So, we are finally caught up on Ruby. Feels weird. Next month, February, at the time of this filming, Ruby will be picking up again. Uh, for the first time with me being caught up at the time of it doing so. My headphones were plugged in. Makes an annoying noise. My game plan as a Rooster Teeth first member is to record my reactions and upload the timer reaction first <laughs> when uh, ever I can film that video and put, have the non-timer version of that video go live as it ordinarily would uh, in the description. After the episodes hit Crunchyroll, I believe that that is their first place that they go when it's no longer available to just first members. That is my game plan. I think it's an okay plan, and now you guys know. I also intend to get as much, if not all, of the side content for Ruby that I can reacted to. Within this next month. Well. I think that's all the, uh, the business nonsense. Link in the description for the non-timer version of this video. Or if you want, you can pull up your copy of Ruby Volume 8, Episode 7. War. War never changes. And press play on it when I press play. When the timer reaches zero. You know, if that sounds like a good idea to you guys. No! Wrong thing. This feels so weird. Starting a show like this that's ongoing. Um, that has been su uh, such a long journey at this point. At least it feels like it is it's weird that it's it for all intents and purposes it's it, it, i've seen with the exception of this everything of ruby <laughs> you guys are just as informed as me as to what the heck's gonna happen next Oh, I bought Red Like Roses Part 2 on uh, the iTunes store. Um, I don't know if many people know this, but I'm actually really not a music guy. I actually hated pretty much all music until I was, like, 14. Um, so, I'm very pleased that something from this show is good enough that I was just like, gotta have it. Ooh. Farm boy, Oscar, perhaps backstory? Never mind. I see. We're straight into the war. Ooh. I like the little plumes of smoke they have coming behind them. Creates a nice effect. <laughs> This really does feel like the battle against the White Whale. Ooh, cool. Probably has a very large reserve of that stuff with which to create Grimm.
I'm surprised uh, that the, the technology they use to shield the city isn't something that's also used as a weapon. Man, Ironwood's semblance, as it's been explained to me, isn't even really a power. It's basically just confidence. <laughs> Blind, at times stupid confidence. What? You're thinking. Who are you? You seem like they're making you semi-important. They're not just... Maybe not now, but you're gonna matter later, aren't you? Nah, I get that, that that's upsetting because of the hostages, but that's the uh, that's a valid military position at this point. Yep. I I get that it sucks, but it, 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 at least on this individual decision, I agree with Ironwood. At least in premise. Obviously, I don't think it's the, the, the plan's gonna work. Why? What, what's up? Oh, you're just scared. No, you are skulking. What are you skulking for? See Cinder? Nah. Ooh, those things are ooey gooey. Why don't you, how much did, uh, you seem to be able to activate your semblance a lot, so I wonder how much that she could do that. Uh, without draining her energy much. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> A new world order. Really, it lasts that long. Mm. Ooh. Dressing the wounds. Yeah, they would probably want to redress it. Yeah, at least every day or so, if not m more frequently.
Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, you didn't bring any for her. I was like, not the time for, uh, an upsetting drink. I mean, you get like four or five people with silver eyes. Okay. Okay. Um yeah, that that's the sides. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, it's a big side. Oh, I thought someone was talking to him for a second. No. Oh. Oh, shit. Why does she... I guess she's been with you for a while, but why does Emerald care so much about you? I guess she would tell different goals to different people based on uh, who she's manipulating, but... It's a little amazing that Tyrion hasn't run around being like, Hey guys, check out the plan! Up to this point. Ooh, cool. Might we get a fight between these two coming up? Ooh, I liked that look. Okay, I like that look a lot.
Uh, um, they, they, they no, they wouldn't. <laughs> Would they? They might want to, but they wouldn't. What? Huh? Got it. Aww. I didn't know this extent of how Ren's abilities worked like this. Not really fond of that logic, but at least in terms of how real world teams operate, but good power spent friendship speech. If all you care about is the job, shut up. I'm the boss here. <laughs> Ooh, complicated emotions. She's unsure of anything. Please tell me it's Crow and Robin. Please, please, please. <laughs> It'd be the funniest. Ah, no. Oh, no. Is it really you? I know it's not Neapolitan. Unless she's got a new trick up her sleeve. She's, her, his eyes are changing. Oh. I'm gonna feel like a fool. Because I feel like I should remember this ability. Whatever's going on right here. Starting the timer at 1643. In three, two, one, go. Ah, okay, maybe it really is you then. Did he have this ability? What, what is, whatever's going on the, uh, with the eyes? Yeah, did he? Cool. <laughs> okay, Crow and Robin! Crow and Robin! It'd be the funniest thing. I kind of wish it had happened before, but... Come on, good luck, good luck. 
Any? Aw, oh, man. Not funny. No. Maybe? I doubt she's dead. They would have just killed her in the episode where she fell if she was dead. Shit, if she is dead, though. Oh, no. They would have just killed her in the episode where she fell. Yeah, I'm almost sure. Yeah. God damn it, I wanted one funny. <laughs> I get that we're in serious mode. Full on, full stop, no happy times, but a little. Aww. <laughs> Crow and Rob, Crow, your uncle and Robin aren't coming to save us. Hi, guys. <laughs> that would have been great. Oh. Uh, I need to learn Weiss's brother's name, because I'm happy we're... Uh, that he's better, I guess. Well, this is weird. Um, I guess a good idea would be to suggest shows that you would like me to do. I'm thinking of doing Attack on Titan, which I've already seen the first season of back when it first aired, but. I kind of don't want to be caught up with Ruby. I was. Dang. I get so wrapped up in my enjoyment of some shows that I have a hard time of objectively judging them. I've enjoyed Ruby a lot. A lot. But I'm not sure if I think it's great or not. I feel the, like pressured to have some sort of big opinion on the show now that I'm caught up, but it's it's a ride, one hell of one. If there's one bit of praise I can give Ruby that I didn't expect to be able to give it at the start. It's the way they've developed their story, intermingling in with its world, has been much more smartly done than I ever could have anticipated. Love it. See you guys in February.